All right, guys, what's happening? Ryan Murphy checking in. Um, so I want to give you some options as far as things you can do when it comes to alleviating shoulder pain. Uh, yesterday, playing in men's league, men's league hero right here, I dove for a ball and landed on my chest in the outfield. So what ends up happening is my arms, my left arm is the one that's jammed up. It's probably gonna look opposite because I got the camera flipped, but overhead, oof, I've already done some work this morning, but you can tell that there's some restriction. And so this is where mobility comes in because with better mobility, maybe I'm not in this situation, okay, but I can't control that. That's out of my control, so what can I do now? Literally when I woke up this morning, it was probably like a nine out of 10. Okay, right here, I literally, you know, last night trying to sleep was really struggling to do anything other than just keep my my arm right here tucked, just like you would see if somebody gets rotator cuff surgery. Um, and look, again, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a certified witch doctor. I'm not really certified, but I am a witch doctor. Um, which just means that I try a million different things and take the things that work. I don't really care where it comes from. So I'm gonna take this spot right here is where I really am feeling the pain. I started out this morning with a meditation. So the meditation, as far as tools used, I've got the rumble roller right here. And then I've got, where is it? Where's my little, oh, here we go. And I've got this little tool on top of it. So I'm gonna lay, I would lay down on this thing on my back, okay? And I used uh, the Headspace app, which is a free app with in-app purchases. I would definitely recommend it if you're somebody that uh, hasn't really, has been thinking about meditation or maybe already is meditating because it's, uh, it's fantastic. So I, the focal point was pain. So I lay down for 20 minutes and what I get there is <clears throat> once my mind starts to relax and I'm not so tense, I start to notice, okay, instead of just this like big throbbing concept right here, I'm able to focus and find out and pay attention and understand that I really feel it where my biceps connect to the shoulder, okay? Now I'm still working on the anatomy of the shoulder as far as being a, like a PhD. But, so now I'm at the point where I go meditation and then I go ahead and now that that's opened up, you wanna think about, okay, what? how can I go ahead and put this shoulder into a better resting position to avoid pain? Well, we've gotta get some backside activation, some reverse on this side on the back. We wanna make sure that we're getting activation back here. Okay, so I tend to be pretty trap dominant. We're trying to get rotator cuff activation and then mid-back activation. So I went from there into just some basic band pull-aparts. All right, so you can do isometrics. This is the no money right here. All right, and then from the side, the no money. I also went ahead and just did a one pull-apart like this. Okay, so now lastly, Finishing it up, I'm gonna take this tool right here. I'm gonna take the softball, okay? I've got the orb right here too, which is a Gold's Gym product. You can get it at Walmart. It's a little bit less aggressive. Um, I like aggressive. Aggressive is the way that has worked for me and anything that's ever really worked in life. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up. It is still tender. And again, I'm. this is not, there is no certification. There is no, so proceed with caution. But I've got this voodoo floss right here. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up. Oof. All right, so that is tender. Doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be wrapped. And so what we're doing here is what's called the tourniquet effect, we're trying to cut off blood flow. Think about kinking a hose. We're restricting blood flow. It's gonna serve as a distraction between the pain and the brain. And then we're gonna move through some ranges of motion after I go ahead and get on top of the, the soft tissue implement. So the goal here is to cut off blood flow, like kinking a hose. And then once we move through the ranges of motion, unkink the hose, get some fresh blood flowing back through, and then ultimately increase the range of motion. So I'm gonna take this thing, 
I'm gonna lay down on my stomach, okay? So I'm gonna be right here. I'm gonna start out with just out to the side. All right, so I'm gonna dig in. I'm searching around here. Okay, so right now I'm on my pec minor. Definitely already feeling some pain. Oh, now we're getting into the juicy part. Oh, man. All right, so I'm actually going to have to take my hand off my back out of internal rotation because it's a little too intense. I'm getting a little tingle action. Probably don't want to be that locked in on it. <sighs> Got to make sure that the breath is flowing. All right, so now I'm like right next to my pec and my, where my armpit connect. Okay, so that's pretty intense pain. I'm gonna go ahead now, slide up, just get a couple overheads in. All right, you're gonna lose a little feeling in your fingers. Again, do not try this at home unless you're comfortable with a recommendation from a witch doctor. I've been working on this stuff for the last 10 years, trying to just steal from whoever's got the best. Woo, that's pretty restricted. Just gonna do one more. Okay, we're gonna unravel here. And the goal is if I started this morning with a nine pain, I'd like to walk out of here with any type of improvement. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna let some blood flow back into it. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my band. And again, we just opened up, so now I want to go ahead and get some contraction on the opposite side. Try to really stabilize that shoulder joint. You want the band to be a certain amount of tension so that you can control the tension. You don't want to be having to really yank and get in poor posture. It's just light. We're looking for some light activation here. Okay? So from the side, I'm going to do it on the knees. <sighs> nice, comfortable, tall posture. I'm just gonna pull apart. All right, boom. So that's it, there we go. That's a good little quick series of how we're gonna uh, release the shoulder. Feels like about a seven right now. I can get up overhead, still feeling a little restricted, but overall improvement. So I hope that helps. Please check us out at murphybaseballperformance.com for more videos related to mindset, alleviating pain. Let us know how we can help. Give us other uh, tips, ideas, things that we can help you. Our goal is to help you live a better life, dominate every day. See you guys later.